Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. Uh, and we're back in the volcano lair. Now, um, once again, we're trying to terraform Mars. Now, we do have Elmo's uh, terraforming mod added, so it allows us to actually change the atmosphere of the planet as we go along, or it just sort of any pollutants you release stay in the atmosphere, so we're actually going to use it to try and terraform it, get the pressure up high enough so as uh, we can actually grow stuff outdoors. I don't know if it's possible, um, but we'll see. Now, we were running into a bit of overpressure last time, uh, 39 megapascals. Yeah, I think we're going to have to put an overpressure relief on, on that one there. You're still good because we're using it. Um, you're switched off, so that's not a problem there. So I'll have to put an overpressure relief on that one. This one, I don't really want to release that, the hydrogen, because that's a pollutant which is going to kill the plants. Um, I may have to put another tank in. Now, I have been out here putting in uh, tanks to hide my pollutant uh, if I start making lots of it. Because, uh, I mean, I could... I could combust the oxygen and the hydrogen to make carbon dioxide and pollutant, and I could just uh, save up and store the pollutant in here. That would get rid of the hydrogen and the oxygen. Um, but then, well, I don't have to have, a, have to do something with the pollutant. But I mean, I guess I would already have to do something with the hydrogen. Um, so. Um, 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 yeah. Uh, so, but I can just dump the oxygen, excess oxygen straight into the waste pipe. So, uh, that might be one to go for. Um, right, so uh, let's, and I've got to go down and automate my, my score table. Uh, but first up, let's, uh, let's switch the rockets on, get them moving again. Away you go, and away you go, and away you go. Nice. Right, so that'll get that stuff coming back in again. Uh, cleaning up all the suits and stuff. I did have two new suits there, got all the hard backpacks. I need one more suit and two more helmets, and I'll have three full sets of suits in there. Cool. Uh, but I switched this on. We got power. Uh, I've still got to hook up the gases for all of them uh, because, well, I don't have the gases up here, so uh, I won't be doing that just yet. Uh, put down some floors. Made the place a little bit prettier because um, that's pretty repetitive. And with, I got gene splicer too. I found that in the pile of uh, useful stuff. Um, right, and some flowers and usual stuff in there. Plenty of tables. Um, but I've found all this stuff. I've got two of the... Well, i got one of... I thought I had two. Um, but it looks like I don't. Um, anyway. So cut all of them. I will just need to bring... Uh, I mean, I could bring up the gas the gas stuff here, but all the gas I need to pressurise this place is actually already in the atmosphere. So I need the oxygen, which is there. I need the uh, nitrogen, which is there. I need the carbon dioxide, which is there. So I don't really need to pull up all that stuff from down, down there. I could just suck it straight in from the air to actually pressurise this place. Um, so I will have to seal it up before I pressurise it, of course. But um, so I might not have to bring everything up here. I could just create a second system just to harvest what I need directly from the atmosphere. Uh, although that will be cold. Hmm. Yes. And downstairs, of course, we still have still have a cold tank which I've not done anything with yet. Hmm. Good fun. Uh, I got an extra Sterling engine, so I put that in. So I now have, uh, I think, seven. Oh, that's cooled down a bit because I switched the rockets off. Anyway, uh, you have a crap ton of everything. And there we go. So it's kept everything up. 
people were worried about all that crap in there, but uh, yeah, this, this thing does just go a little bit faster than everything else, so um, it's okay. Or did I switch off um, some of these? I can't remember now. No, they're all going still. So the centrifuge is keeping up. And I put in a garbage chute down to there from upstairs. Save me running up and down all the stairs all the time. Now I've got to put in our automation for this thing as well to keep our scores. Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, but first up, I think we need to put the overpressure on that. So I shall need a chip, which I think I I have. Um, go in there. Um, I have the chip. I think I have one in my... Yep, there it is. So I just need a housing. No, I don't need a housing. I'm going to put it in the actual doodad. I shall need a volume pump uh, from here. A volume pump and a heap of pipes and and another battery and some coffee cups nice um, right where are you here so grab you um, don't tell anyone I put up a locker uh, Pipes, 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 pipe, 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 Um, ah, they're in my pocket. Ha! Ah, I knew that. Why my stair is broken? Hmm. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, now I should be using more of these because I'm burning two lots of hydrogen for one of oxygen. Um, so I need to put in... Oh, cable, you are just in the wrong spot there. Mm. Nope. Yep, you're just in the wrong spot. No. Um, okay. Except that you're in the wrong spot. So if I put you there... Uh, cable you up to the brown pipe cable with um, those pipe type cables uh, right maybe turn you down so you don't explode the door they have got the uh the door that can't be broken now haven't we uh, ah yeah, bump it up again um I shall need to put some no <laughs> I can't go in there because you're in the way you're in the way of that one I can fix you um, put you up higher there we go Right, and some cables. Do you pre right, and as always, give it a bit of a paint. All hooked up. Um, it's not the one I want. That one. Right. So now you are the oxygen overpressure. You are the oxygen overall pressure pump. Right. I can probably just uh, copy the code I've got in there, can't I? Uh, give me import. Oh, well, that's a that's a lot. That's really worth uh, the effort of copying that. <sighs> um, yeah, okay, easy. Don't need to change that at all. 
Now you, you so we shall need the oxygen overpressure pump. Oxygen overpressure pump. Which on and away you go. Nice, down you come. Don't pull the battery out of it. And something's broken. Ah, right. So you'll go down as more comes in. Yep, there we go. Uh, so, how much pressure we got in that pipe? Yeah, megapascal. Or half meg, I should say. Yep, we'll probably leave it at that. Uh, right, so battery's charging up. That's that one done. That didn't take too long. Right. Um. Right, you're doing all right. Uh, 20 megapascals. And 3700 Kelvin. Right, um, while we're here, grab one of them and let you off. Okie dokie, that's that one done. Uh, item number one, tick. Now we shall need, let's go blue the mushrooms, probably get a drink. Um, Wow, look at that. Oh, you're running a bit slow. You're good to go though. And as you can see, I've had my first crop. I have replanted nicely. Um, Still not there. Yep, there you go. Nicely timed. And look at the mushroom farm. Showing on now. This we use a bit of the oxygen. Um, so, well, I suppose the rockets are still bringing in more, probably more oxygen than I can use, so probably no big issue. Uh, so, uh, CO2. Uh, still not really enough to see anything changing, is it? Oh well, uh, we're good. You're still happy? 108% growing jam. I'm a good mushroom grower. Uh, you're all good. Oh, and I did remember to hook that one up. So uh, yeah, everyone who spotted that in the last one there, yeah, I, I've hooked it up. Don't worry. It's all good. Um, it's under control. Uh, and I'll put my drink bottle thingo in here. Although I can't reach it very well. Ooh. No, no, there it is. Because um, I can open my visor in here. And I'll have to bring some food down here as well, won't I? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll have to get water upstairs as well because um, I'll need it. Uh, I've already got water heated here, so I probably could just take that pipe, that one up there. Uh, the waste, I'll probably, waste lines I'll probably have to park back down but is there anything that I'll be making upstairs that I really need to filter because I'm just going to dump all everything back into the atmosphere anyway hmm yeah oh well 
Boop. Now. We shall need a chip. I've got a chip, spare one there. Very good. Um, shall need a sensor. A housing. Didn't I have some housings? I've used them all. Um, oh well, I'll need some housings. I'll need sensors, which I don't have. Um, glass door. That's the one we needed to hold everything back earlier. All right. Ooh. Oh, new arc welder. Ooh, it's Mark II one. That, that's, that's better. Yeah. I might as well take that upstairs, hadn't I? Um, uh, oh, later. Yeah, I reinstate my yeah. More rockets. Paint mixer. Oh, I need them. Or one of them. Um, night vision. Drill. Tool thingy. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Oh, respawn pad. I'd better put one of them in. <laughs> Some food. Uh, another tablet. Awesome. Is that full? That is full. Um, okay. Well, I'll not take that then. Uh, nitrogen. Another logic processor. Uh, right. Well, I've got some random crap now. Uh, yeah, go away. One of them is pretty useless. Um, right. Uh, now, yeah, what was I going to take? I'm going to take my tools. Uh, you and my welder. And night vision, not that I'll probably ever want night vision goggles. Uh, paint mix is useless. And I'll take the tablet. Because I had something there that I needed to put in a tablet. What was it? GPS. Uh, here we go. I now have a GPS tablet which I'll probably not use. Yeah, oh, and no batteries for it. Only a couple of nukes. Well, we better give it the GPS color. Yep, that's GPS color. Uh, now, I was going down to do the scoreboard, but um, uh, I found a squirrel instead. I do have some food here. <laughs> and a can of French fries is the wrong way. Now, this could become a safe room up here, I guess. Uh, so I could like put a respawn point up here. I'd have to pressurize this and have this the room I come back into that's got my suits and my have a bit of food, maybe some water, and um, is uh, safe. Hence the name. Safe room. Uh, oh, I put up all the vents. Ah, well, I didn't need them anymore. Uh, anyway. Now, I was going to do Morning Wilson So yeah, um Probably best put those fuses in, seeing as I'm using so much power uh, Now, I wanted, I had the chip, I needed the housing Housing I shall need a sensor 
of gold. Yep. And what do I do with the cables? Where's my spare cables? They're heavy cables. Oh wow, use them all. Um, okay, I used them all. Uh, so, make me a heap of them then. And probably a few more. Uh, get in there. Uh, take you. I should take you. I got the chip. Um, another tablet. I think my computer sort of has has an issue with uh, random numbers. Once it picks a random number, it has that random number, same random number until it actually restarts the computer. Uh, oh, oh, one cable. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Um, How are we doing? That's pretty useless. Uh, speaking of useless, paint mixer. Okay. Tank of volatiles. That's well, I'd say it's a, not a very good tank. So um, uh, nope, zero. All right, so you're going. You're all right. Uh, you can be gone. I'll go, I'll go. And you. All gone. Right. That'll go down to the recycler. There's some of them I want to go downstairs. And some consoles. If I'm going to do this thing to display stuff, I'll probably need some displays. Um, so, give me a couple of them. Them. Right. Now. Now we're ready to go. And, um. Maybe here. Put you there and there. The sensor will probably need to go as far away as possible. So if I put that by the front door, I need a gas sensor. And. Uh, And, oh shit, like you brought a lot of cables. That's what I mean about the random number there. The first time that we set off the junk rocket, it brought back signs. It brought back that many. The next day after I reloaded there, it hasn't brought back any more signs ever since. So, um, uh, yeah. Not the best random number generator. Uh, You two there and there. You can go into there. And we have the sensor we have to hook up power to it. That might help. Power is up the top. Um, Right, now I have another gas sensor up there. So I'd better rename this one because it's on the same circuit. Uh, now you are 
the come on outside sensor that makes sense doesn't it now ah uh, so I need to say when the temperature is going down um, it's getting less when it's going up that means it's reached its coldest part uh, so we'll have to reset that each day um, okay so how are we going to do this so I need to the sensor zero this the um, we want the pressure pressure display d1 alias the uh, temperature uh, display to d2 uh, I shall also want to alias the because I've got to keep track as it goes through loops I've got to keep track of what it was the last loop and then compare the last loop to this loop after I read it so as I know whether or not it's going up or down uh, so I'll alias what was was last time so uh, it's a uh, so I'll have to know if it's going up or down Um, let's just call it a uh, min temperature to uh, 10 alias uh, min pressure to uh, 11 using 10 and 11 because I don't very often use them so uh, I've, I'm not li likely to accidentally use them uh, start yeah. yield Uh, now I am going to have to uh, I'll have to set um, pressure to give that a, a number big number because we're taking the minimum uh, move a big number again so we set them at high numbers we're going to compare it take the smallest one um, that's not going to work is it I'll need to know what it was last loop and or I can just take the minimum pressure but then I've got to reset it so I've still got oh I could put a daylight sensor on there and just uh, set it when it gets to like a uh, sunrise that could be a way to do it um, that might be an easier way to do it uh, so let's grab that because there's bound to be a storm the moment I walk away so if I grab another sensor grab another one of them plenty of them now well, I'll say that and then I'll need a heap of them uh, around this way Ah, oh, pretty sunset. Um, now I can put this on. I shall need to put a daylight sensor on, and I want to put it up there, and it's not going to let me because of those stupid frames. Right now, goes. So I use a horizontal angle. So sunrise, sunset. If it changes from minus 180 to positive 180 
is on that angle. Look, the data port is where it changes from negative to positive. Uh, so which way is that going? The horizontal, three degrees. Okay, so that's counting upwards. So it counts from minus 180 all the way around to 180. Uh, so, I, well, that one was loud. Uh, so, you up there. So that'd be my daylight sensor. So I'll need to bring that one in as well. Uh, you do have power, don't you? You do have power. I'll need to know which one of them is which. Um, so you shall be the temperature display. And you should beat the pressure display. Right. Now, let's try this one again. Uh, now, alias the uh, solar sensor D3. Right. Now I should be able to do this. Uh, right, so I shall be able to say uh, load into R0 from the, the sensor, the pressure with a capital P, and we shall just take the minimum. The minimum, uh, we shall set the pressure in pressure will be whichever is the less of the uh, minimum pressure or R0. So if R0 is less, the minimum pressure will go down to less. Uh, load into R0 from the sensor temperature and once again the, take that minimum Wow, these rockets are really doing a going nuts. Uh, it's a min temp minor of, of the lesser, whichever one of those is, R0. Right. So from there I can then uh, uh, yeah, so take the pressure and then uh, save to the pressure display. Pressure just did. Wow. Press D A S P L A four. Oh, come on. Right. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so we should. Uh, no, no, no. No, we want to save whatever the min one. Uh, minimum pressure. Right, uh, save. Uh, temp display setting uh, min temp. Right, um, jump to the uh, start. Firm. Export. Right, now I should want the outside sensor. Uh, eventually. Outside sensor. I want the pressure display. I should want the temperature display. I should want the daylight sensor. There it is. New device, new device. Right, outside sensor, pressure display, temperature display. A good reset you. Put you on. Right. Ah, I might change the temperature to. Uh, 
to um, 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 degrees rather than uh, kelvins. Um, right, so uh, that is well, the 273 point um, something, something, something. Um, so I shall uh, subtract uh, R0 equals min temp minus R273.15, which I totally remembered. Um, right, then we shall display R0. So that's our minimum temperature is still stored in Kelvin. I'm just uh, changing it before I display it. Another rocket. Bam. Um, the chop in there. Export. There we go. So now that'll get down to a minimum. Now once it gets to the next day, I want to reset that. Um, so it will reach its coldest point uh, during the night. Uh, so um, if I reset it at sunset, it means I'll have all day to read it. So it should reach its coldest point just before sunrise. Uh, so I don't want to reset it at sunrise. Uh, so I'll probably reset it at sunset. So maybe I want to point the uh, data port the other way. Well, okay, uh, let's try that. Get you out of the way again. So I'll have to turn you around. Uh, come on. That's the wrong way. There we go. There we go. Now, you go back up. Right. So now, each minus 99 sort of gets to. Um, over there, well, I suppose I could just point it downwards. Because then we'll get to its coldest point um, just before morning. Okay, let's change it again. Right. Um, why not? Um, While well, we're getting it wrong. Uh, so you. This will be the way to do it. Right. Uh, solar. Right. So, now, in the middle of the night, uh, this uh, is uh, So the horizontal value is, so it must be getting close to midnight by now. 179 degrees, minus 180, in that case, a minus 180 degrees. Uh, so that should be the coldest point uh, when that gets to minus 90 or thereabouts. So we can say when it, go, it goes uh, negative, so it goes to minus 100, and, or if it's less than, say, minus 170, uh, it's time to reset it. Uh, so, so we've got the solar sensor. I can say, um, I can reset it just by going up to there. Reset. Okay, so if I say um, uh, into load into R zero from the solar sensor uh, horizontal, I shall 
branch less than, if that angle is less than 170, um, go to reset. Uh, if it's greater than that, just go back to the start. So if it's less than 170, go to reset, uh, less than minus 170. Uh, so if it's between, between uh, minus 180, minus 170, reset it. Once it's above that, it's okay. Right. Um, if you boop, export you, which means that you should give me an error because um, you don't have your solar sensor set up anymore, daylight sensor. Um, daylight sensor. Everything else is good. Raj. Now, I don't want to get an extra decimal point. Well, you suck. Ah, uh, right. We're on day 63. So once that reaches its minimum, it should just uh, stop until we get to midnight, and that one will reset it. And then I can just come down here any time after morning, and I will have an answer. Well, we shall see what happens there. Um, yeah, we're still a fair way off morning, so uh, we'll have to wait a little bit to get that to happen. Uh, you're going. You should be back to full power. 72 kilowatts of generation. Oh yeah, just from waste heat. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, right, so you're all going. Excellent. Well, temperature does have uh, extra decimal places on there if I hover over. It doesn't give me it if I... Ooh. Right, so I can get the extra decimal places there. I've just got to not read the number. Uh, right. 76.65. Yeah, stop looking at it. Let's go do something else. Um, right, so I put the... Is my overpressure been enough for this tank? I've still got to figure out what I'm going to do with the hydrogen. 35 megapascals. It's coming down. Slowly, but it's coming down. Um, is that noticeable in the oxygen content? I suppose that only works if I knew what it was before. Volatiles and NOS. It's a tiny amount. Oxygen is 1.76. Is that an improvement? Ooh, right row. Um, so, you know, that faffing around. Have the mushrooms grown again? Not even close. That's all right. Uh, although we rate that they're spreading there, I'll probably need to stick on a heap more uh, hydroponics things to cook, won't I? Um, that's uh, iron, 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 no, iron, and uh, lead, no, uh, okay. So let's chuck all of our iron in there. We should queue up my vending machine with ingots in it so I don't have to do that and uh, make some more hydroponics trays. Uh, right, run with that. Now, um, add some pipes. Uh, now, i got to think about what am I going to do up here? Some uh, frames. As I'm running around in circles still. So I'll get some more frames because uh, they're easy enough to put on. Um, so I'll need to start making some rooms to put up the uh, um, 
the, uh, the plant experiment chambers. There's some frames, or one of them. Ah, dear. Now, so if we come out here, so we've got our grow room and all of our stuff out here. Uh, back here somewhere, I could probably go downstairs and have some chambers down there and uh, put an upstairs, which is um, higher. Um, so, if I'm going to go down there. Um, yep, where am I going? So I go back one, two. So that's there, the front wall. So that's into the suit room. That is down here to that. Oop. So if I come out there, I shall come down floor level. Comes down one more. Oh. Okay, so I go downstairs one. I'm actually intruding into the roof of the mushroom, the shroom room. Really? Because this is down one. That's the current floor level. Oh, the current floor level is the roof of the shroom room. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, can okay, I change my mind? And I think we'll do it this height. Because that was totally my choice. Um, damn. Ah, uh, it's all welded. Right, so I need some more frames. And I have to be careful that I don't break into the shroom room. So I better check the roof in there and make sure it is all still rocked and I haven't actually deeply dug too high. Um, or I'll be in trouble. Like that. That side should be fine. That could be a problem. Um, I had better undig that. Oh, it's a rocket. <laughs> I thought that was a whoosh of air and I suddenly breached the room. Whew. Uh, no, we're good. Uh, right, so now I should be able to put that floor in and not breach this room. <laughs> Mushrooms. Uh, now, what was it last time I was in here? I forgot. CO2 is 5%, 5.2, 13 mole. It was only 10 point something last time, I think. That is a very slow way of making CO2. Another rocket. What the hell? They are coming back loaded, aren't they? You're loaded, definitely loaded. You're mining. Hmm. Okay. And I gotta build this room up here eventually too. And try and fill that hole in perhaps. Ah, uh, right, now. Now experiment rooms. What was I going to do with them? So, how much space will I need for that? I'll need some... Well, if I make them for... I guess I'm going to need at least one for... Um, one for making stuff with... Uh, 
So to get stuff to grow outside, I'm going to have to do. Um, I'm going to have to get it to grow with pollutants because I'm probably going to have to pr produce pollutants to uh, raise the the temperature. I'm going to have to get it to grow when it's cold. And I'm going to have to get it to grow when there is low pressure. So I'm probably going to need the three three experiment rooms at least. Um, uh, so I shall, because I mean, I, I try to just uh, uh, get one of those things at a time might be the best way to do it. Uh, well, not having done it before, I really don't know, but. Um, I guess we'll find out. Um, and you, yep. Do, 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 do. Now, they don't go very far. That use up a heap of water? No, I won't. No, because it's already you already fixed it all. Yes, grow my pretties. Um, right, so we've got some more shroom room. Because after I planted all of them, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that joke. Because <laughs> uh, once I've planted all them, there won't be mushroom left. It's not my joke. Don't blame me. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Um, right, so I want. How far do I need to come back with them? So I don't want that one there. So I'll have to put in here, probably an interface room with a little entrance and how much room will I need to make this stuff uh, for each one of these uh, little bays will require um, what am I going to need? I'm going to need at least to fit a couple of um, a couple of, well I'm going to need to grow one grow plot you're going to get the uh, get a plant. You're going to get its offspring. You're going to pick the best of them, then replant that plant, not replant half a dozen of them. Um, oh, put your put your digging bag on. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, so it's probably only got to carry a single grow plot, but it's got to be. Uh, well, you've got to be able to control the atmosphere. I don't suppose they have to have the atmosphere controller in the room. So maybe just three single grow plots. Uh, got to have doors. Got to have windows so you can watch the plants suffer. Um, so I will need... Gonna need the atmosphere controllers for it. Uh, uh, switch off. Now let's put down some floors before I accidentally breach the the shroom room. Uh, you weld. If you weld up, oh, um, okay, that'll do. So I could put a uh, two space there to get a bit more. Put another two space there and another two space room there, and I could put a wall across the back here. Uh, so I can come into there to be airtight chamber. I can vent any pollutants or anything that I'm using in those rooms there to annoy the plants. And have that be sort of an airlock 
or put a scrubber in there to clean that air out uh, before coming back out here into the main room. That'll probably do it. Uh, right, so I need some more steel sheets and some doors. Uh, what sort of walls have I got? They're flat walls. They're wall walls. And I'm sure I printed out a heap of steel sheets. But I could just be going bananas. Because I've put up an awful lot of them in the last while. Ah, uh, sheets. Steel sheets. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, window shutters. Oh, steel sheets. There we go. There you go. See? Nothing but useful stuff coming out of that rocket. Uh, these are the pipes I wanted. Solar panel. Oh, piece of lease. Ah, well, they are new. Another large battery. I haven't used the last two yet. Um, but, yep, thank you. Uh, portable generator, junk. Ooh, transformer. You always need transformers. Mushrooms! Powered shoots. Oh, okay. Oh, what are you? Alien mushroom. I don't think they really do much. <gasps> Battery! Ferns. Nice. Um, <laughs> a loaf of bread. Okay, why not? Um, well, this is daylight and, um, I've got too much stuff. Uh, um, 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 um. Right, you're into there. You're into there. Uh, my mushrooms I need. Uh, you can go into there. And what else did I have? Oh, grinder. <laughs> That's still trying to arm me. That's a bad idea. I got corn seeds, rice seeds. Um, not what I want. Iron frames, junk. Deep miners. A research machine. Turbine generators. Well, I've used them before. I've used them before, and it didn't go well. I see something there. Flowers. An hydroponic station. Loaf of bread. Oh, another loaf of bread. They're not the same loaf of bread. And the ferns I'd better take. And the uh, food I'd better take. Right, um, oh, there's the sheets I wanted, um, right, uh, um, right, um, 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 let's go there, I can go eat the food, and, yank, right, now, Eat that potato. I can put you over there. Um, Peaceful these can go over there. The ferns I'm going to put in the fridge. I can eat you. Also nine mushrooms. Nice. Not you mushrooms. Other mushrooms. Nice. And you lot will be ready to harvest again before too much longer. Because you're growing quite nicely. Uh, right. Uh, that one. And here we go. And. 
Ooh. Let's go downstairs and have a look. Did it work? It stopped. Nice. Uh, minus 76.67. It's gotten colder. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I wonder if that's because I dumped all the oxygen in there. Um, right. Okay. Uh, uh, 76.67 minus. And we are on day 64. Yeah, 64. 64, well, I'm not going to be out of here by day 100, am I? And you got 1.894. 1.894. Okay, so dumping the oxygen and with all three rockets going, I got 12 pascals. <laughs> I might need a bigger rocket farm. Um, that's another five days. So I've got to get around about 20,000. And if I'm getting about 20 every 10 days, um, that's a lot of days. Um, okay. This series might not end well. Uh, look after them, Wilson. Um, well, how the hell am I going to do that? Um, well, oh shit. Another genetic splicer. I'll probably take that. Uh, right. Uh, let's just put you in there. Now I shall need some doors. Uh, so I need at least uh, four of them. Do I have some doors? Last doors. I think I had interior doors. Uh, Yeah. Four will do. Right. Oh. Yeah. Nice timing. Well, I won't be able to put me thing out down now, will I? Uh, right, so we shall be having a door. It may be there. Um, can I put them side by side? Well, that will stick through the. So maybe I don't want those ones there. Uh, I'll put you into there. You can be there. You can go there. And I shall need to dig out a little bit more.
Ah. Go away, Storm. You're not helping. And you shall be the back wall. There you are. And we need the other door. Other door, I said. You go like there. And I shall have all those windows. There. 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 Uh, you should be a wall, you should be a wall. You should frame up on top of them. Um, you say around that. the back wall that'll give me enough room for the the plants and I can put in solid wall there doesn't really need to be solid but I'll put in frame walls Storm's finished, so I can see what I'm doing. Right. So that should have us. Uh, Oh, that's right, you can't. Oh. <laughs> that's right, you can't dig upwards with these things. Uh. to go. Here it is. Right, so this can be a little torture chamber there. Um, window into there, window into there. That, of course, would have to be a wall. Uh, I can put you in as a... Yeah, I'll put you in as a window as well. Q in is a solid wall. And I fetch up. Well up you. Uh, I better dig you first, hadn't I? Uh, switch it off. Now well done. Right. So I have 
doors into each cell. I've just put each one of them as a different experiment. I can close that up, close that up. More frames to go on the roof. Um, uh, this is our lab. We don't want any stalactites hanging from the roof in here. What do you think this is? Um, Right, so I need some more frames. I shall need to, so I'll need to get my gases and everything in there. And I probably won't want to go any further back than that because that's, uh, that's being dangerous to the, the shroom room. Um, let's have to do a vacuum. And we'll be able to call that one done. Well, it's, it's uh, it's in the right spot, we'll call it. Uh, right, so these plastic sheets, some glass, and... And that would be experiment room. So we're going to torture our plants in there. Uh, my genetic splice, so I had to put that out. Um, I don't have any more tables. I do have more tables, look at that. Nice. Um, you can go to there. Uh, you can go into there and I'll take you and knock you down. Beautiful. And There we go. Uh, <laughs> okay, I should be getting used to that sooner or later. It's happening so often. Ah, wow. There we go. Some more food down there. So I need to pipe them up. I'll, yeah, once again, I've got. I can just harvest all the gases I need from the atmosphere. So I might put on an atmosphere processor somewhere up here. I can put it on top of that room and uh, make use of that framed roof. Um, just suck in the gases I want instead of pipe, piping them all the way up from down below. That might be a plan. And I can build myself a safe room, finally, and uh, that'll be a little bit safer. But, uh, you're not in. You're currently unloading, you can just stay there. You're unloading, you can stay there. And I might call you back actually. Ah, because we're running out of time, so we'll pitch everything off. So we are. Uh, how do we do? Uh, we've. So we put our overpressure thing on here. And it is. That is keeping up with what's coming in. That's all right. So we've depressurized that one. Or this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something with that. I may set up another combustor and just uh, just start burning that, burning hydrogen and oxygen. It'll create some pollutant, but I can store it. Oh, I might start dumping it of pollutant into the atmosphere and see if that warms the place up better than the carbon dioxide does. If it doesn't work, I can just uh, suck it back out again. We'll be fine. Um, right, so, bit of a clean up to do. Oh, shit. Oh, I needed one of them. That's the last piece of the puzzle. Look at this. It gets me everything I need. Oh, more suppositories. Now, a packaging machine. I need the oven, not the packaging machine. A hopper. Oh, more engines. Oh, I should better build my volcano now. Oh, I've got enough of them. Uh, there's four of them. I had a heap of them down here as well. 
security printer. Now I've got an unlimited supply of guns. I've got a security printer. I, oh, small engines. Okay, I've got seven small engines. That should be enough to put a ring of them around the, the rocket and um, and have a a, um, a uh, what do you call it? Active volcano. That'd be cool. Um, oh, floor gratings. Uh, it'll take a while to get enough to to build a whole base. Um, nice. Uh, well, that looks like about it then. I'll tidy that up. Um, no. And uh, see how we go. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh well, that's going to be a slow old trip. We'll see how we go. Uh, but that's about it for today, so until next time, happy building. See ya.